time today we're going to be ranking the top 25 best fps games ever made you let me know in the comments if you agree with my list drop a like make sure you're following the page with those notifications turned on guys we are trying to get team chaos over 30 percent on subscriber notifications here we go number 25 titanfall 2 now understand there's probably thousands of fps games out there so to be number 25 is not a bad thing now uh this was a game that flopped upon release, but it has since rebuilt its reputation thanks to the massive success of its Battle Royale spinoff Apex Legends. Titanfall 2 is a sci-fi game. It blends the elements of Twitch shooting and mech combat, and it's unique. It's not a bad game, and I say flop because Titanfall had a bad habit of trying to go up against the juggernauts in the FPS genre when they would launch. It just didn't work. Plus, the single-player campaign fantastic it gives you the best gameplay while telling a compelling story it, it's great it didn't sell well back in 2016 but it's very much alive on pc thanks to the growth of the franchise's reputation at number 24 pain killer developed by people can fly which is a really cool name if you ask me it was released for the pc in 2004 now it flew under the radar at the time but it has since become a cult classic the gameplay is very old school heavily inspired by doom and Quake, that you playing as a man in purgatory attempting to kill Lucifer's army in exchange for a ticket to heaven. Now, the single-player campaign of Painkiller is excellent. The multiplayer was also praised as well, although short-lived. The expansion of the sequels, they didn't quite keep the ball rolling, but Painkiller is a great game, and if you're a fan of old-school FPS games, go check it out. Go find it. At number 23, Borderlands 2. Now, many people say Borderlands is the game that invented looter shooters as we know them, and Borderlands 2 is basically just a giant expansion of the first game's framework. Released nine years ago, that's crazy. Borderlands 2 had you playing as a vault hunter trying to take down the evil Handsome Jack before he finds and unlocks a powerful vault. The shooting, the style, the loot system, it all came together for an extremely addicting experience that ended up influencing an entire genre, and despite other Borderlands games coming after it, I think this one is unanimously considered to be the best of them all. At number 22, Far Cry 3. Overworld shooters are really hard to do properly, but most people will agree that Far Cry 3 is among the best. Released in 2012, the game brought us a new location, new characters, tons of new weapons, and basically non-stop fun. It was the perfect blend of high-octane shooting and slower moments so we could learn more about the world we were in. The game was great. Most fans of the series will agree it's the best. Personally, I would love to see this game get remade in the current Far Cry engine. Next up, Arma 3. If you're looking for hyper-realistic games, here you go. Tactical shooter that borders on military simulator when you play as a U.S. soldier completing various tasks on giant open-world maps, all of which are photorealistic and based on real-world locations. Now, there are two maps, with the smaller one being a whopping 20 square kilometers, and the bigger one, it's a ridiculous 270 square kilometers. Arma 3 is an incredibly detailed game. Despite being almost eight years old, it's still one of the most played games on Steam. It's not a game for everybody, but if it's up your alley, you're probably going to put a thousand hours into this game, so get ready. At number 20, Payday 2. Released in 2013, it was a co-op shooter that ended up getting way more popular than the developers probably anticipated, and it's remained as one of the biggest games in the world. You and your buddies play as a group of well-organized and well-funded bank robbers, and you perform various heists in order to bolster your reputation even more. The concept? Simple. Gameplay? Extremely addicting and often challenging to boot. I mean, it's continued to sit at the top of Steam charts ever since its release. It's just a good game, and the constant updates keep it fresh. At number 19... Battlefield Bad Company 2, arguably the best game in the entire franchise. I'll let you argue that in the comments section. It launched 11 years ago. Are we going to get Battlefield Bad Company 3 this year? I don't know. And it dramatically boosted the Battlefield license up to this point. Battlefield was a big series, but not quite a blockbuster. However, that all changed with BC2. Amazing visuals, more destructible environments than any other game at the time, and addicting shooting that made for a very engaging campaign and multiplayer. The rest of the Battlefield franchise simply would not exist without Battlefield Bad Company 2. I mean, it laid the groundwork and proved they had a blockbuster FPS formula, and hopefully Battlefield 6 can channel the same energy. Next up, 18. I played this game all the way through. This thing was frightening. Fear. A lot of developers have tried to blend horror and first-person shooting, but none have done it quite as well as Fear, if you ask me. Released in 2005, it has you playing as a Special Forces team, tasked with hunting down and containing a superhuman containment breach. Now, along the way, 
You'll shoot up plenty of enemies, but you also get the crap scared out of you by all the strange creatures you'll encounter along the way. It is a fantastic FPS and a great horror game. It's actually aged extremely well thanks to the visuals, the level design, and the sophisticated AI. When I say sophisticated, the AI is smarter than you. Trust me. It's great. If you're itching for a good horror shooter, I got you. At number 17, Counter-Strike 1.6. This is where it started for most people, as you probably know. Counter-Strike was actually a mod for the original Half-Life, but the first standalone version of the game was 1.6. It completely changed PC gaming forever. Very simple tactical shooter. Two small teams go up against each other, try to destroy a bomb site, try to defend it. It exploded in popularity thanks to its simple gameplay, but extremely punishing skill gap. It's easy to understand, hard to master. It gave birth to the rest of the franchise in the most recent version, CSGO. It's still one of the biggest games in the world 20 years after this game came out. At number 16, some arena shooter love, Quake 3 Arena, released in 99. It took the multiplayer foundation of the previous games and it refined them to an insane degree. It made for one of the best and most influential multiplayer shooters ever. It was always a single player game first and foremost, but the multiplayer was surprisingly popular, which prompted ID Software to capitalize with a dedicated multiplayer entry. Now, Quake 3 Arena blew people away. Fast combat, skill-based shooting, and extremely competitive tones to it. I mean, it's widely regarded as one of the best multiplayer shooters of all time, and I hope arena shooters someday make a comeback. Now, we've reached the top 15. Team Fortress 2. Arguably the game that invented hero shooters. Yeah, I think so. It dropped in 2007, and it's still one of the most popular games on Steam. It took the framework of class-based shooters, it expanded upon it with unique characters, a great sense of humor, and the gameplay that relied on everybody playing their role and working together. In 2011, it went free to play. And today, 10 years later, tens of thousands of people are still logging in every simple or every single day. I mean, games like Overwatch and Paladin simply would not exist if it weren't for Team Fortress 2. At number 14, Wolfenstein The New Order. Now, Wolfenstein is one of the longest running FPS franchises in the world, but it's been extremely up and down. If you ask a fan of the series, which was the best, a lot of them will say New Order, which was a series reboot from the 2014 developed by Machine Games. Now, the story brought us into an alternate history where Germany won the Second World War. So you played as an American veteran trying to put together a resistance and take that world back a little bit, at least. The writing was good. The graphics were good. The gameplay was a perfect blend of old school and new school design. And it mixed open levels and treasure hunting with things like weapon upgrades and stealth mechanics. The rebooted Wolfenstein series, it's a bit divisive. But just about everybody agrees, the new order is fantastic. At number 13, Bioshock. Speaking of games that nobody expected to be good, come on, it blew everybody away. You played as a man who crash lands and stumbles upon a lost city underwater called Rapture. From there, you have to try to keep yourself alive, fight off some of the strange beings left behind there. I mean, while you figure out what the heck happened. It was praised for its writing and storytelling, but the gameplay... It was another level. I mean, it took aspects of first-person shooting, survival horror, even some light RPG elements and blended them all together to be one of the best FPS games of all time. Okay, time for a little Call of Duty love. At number 12, COD 4, Call of Duty 4. Now, Call of Duty was a World War II series at the start of 2007. The team decided it was time for a change. COD 4 dropped in 2007. It brought the fight to the modern age, and the engine was overhauled to allow for far more detail and extremely smooth shooting. You completely changed console FPS games forever. It also boasted an excellent campaign with a great story, one of the most revolutionary multiplayer experiences we've ever gotten. It introduced us to so many things. Killstreaks, custom classes, perks, camo challenge. Things are now staples of the entire FPS genre, not just COD. It was revolutionary. I think it's one of the best games in the entire franchise. At number 11... Left 4 Dead 2. Arguably the best zombie game ever made. It dropped in 2009. Basically a giant improvement over the first game in every single way. Better visuals, more characters, more weapons, more enemies. And greatly improved mod support that made almost endlessly replayability happen. I mean, the concept was simple. Get your characters to the end of the level without getting killed. What makes Left 4 Dead so fun was the sheer insanity of the gameplay and the hectic communication between you and your friends as you try to keep each other in one piece. I mean, thanks to the abundance of mods... Left 4 Dead 2 is still one of the most played games on Steam, and that's probably never, ever going to change. Now we've reached the top 10. This is serious. Halo 2. Now, it was not the first console game to have online multiplayer, but it was definitely the one that showed us how it was done. Halo 2 completely changed console gaming with its multiplayer, not just from a technical standpoint, but from a game design. It was a technical marvel. It brought people from all around the world together with the touch of a button. 
and the multiplayer was so good. Some people still consider this game to have the best multiplayer in the entire series. Now, it's mainly remembered for its multiplayer, but the campaign was great too. I know, level design wasn't tight as Combat Evolved, but the story was arguably the best in the series, and there were so many fan-favorite moments. Halo 2 was a massive turning point for the FPS genre. I think it's a good way to crack into the top 10, but man, we've got some good ones coming. At number 9, Duke Nukem 3D. Now, Duke Nukem isn't exactly a respected character now. He was once one of the biggest names in the industry, and Duke 3D is hands down the best game in the series. In fact... It's one of the best games ever in the genre. I, I, I stand by that. Released for the PC in 96. It took influence from games like Doom, but greatly expanded upon the environments. The shooting? It was beefy and gory, but the levels were open and had tons of stuff to interact with, which encouraged exploration. It also had some of the best level design and most satisfying shooter time ever. It aged well. The game got generally positive reviews upon release from critics, but gamers, they ate it up. It was a huge influence on the genre, and thanks to its incredibly detailed maps and smooth-as-butter gameplay... It's one of the best ever. Do you guys remember when Duke Nukem was actually funny? At number eight, GoldenEye. One of my favorite games of all time. Released for the N64 in 97, it was the game that helped prove that shooters were viable on consoles. Now, up to this point, shooters were seen as a PC-dominated genre. Nobody really knew how to make an FPS game work with a controller. However, GoldenEye did. The shooting, great. Level design, great. Sound design, great. Local multiplayer was some of the most fun you could ever have back in the day. GoldenEye paved the way for countless other console shooters in the years to come, and it is by far one of my favorite games of all time. Not just shooter games, just uh, in general. At number seven, Legacy here. Doom 2016. Now, this game was stuck in development prison for a decade. When it finally dropped, I don't think anybody expected it to be good. I mean, but thankfully, it was way more than just good. It was excellent. Full series reboot brought the gameplay back to its roots while also modernizing it with more verticality, even some light RPG elements like weapon upgrades and character upgrades. The level design of Doom 2016 calls back to the original games. It gives you tons of routes to your destination, plus plenty of secrets to hunt for. The game was phenomenal. Let's just leave it at that. At number six, Quake. Quake. Just Quake. Quake. Speaking of ID software, Quake is perhaps our most impressive game from a technical standpoint. Released in 1996, people, it took the foundation of games like Doom and Wolfenstein, but it brought them into the third dimension. It was one of the first fully 3D shooters ever made, and its level design followed that same philosophy as Doom. It encouraged, it, it encouraged multiple playthroughs, tons of treasure hunting. Plus, Quake helped popularize online multiplayer, and it was one of the biggest multiplayer games in the world for a long time. Now, I know may have fallen off as a franchise, but the original game was a huge milestone for the industry, and the single-player campaign, campaign is excellent. Now we've arrived at the top five. The top five best FPS games ever made. Half-Life 2. Come on. After Half-Life changed the SP er, FPS genre forever, stakes were high. The sequel had to be good. Well, it shattered expectations. The game was built on a new engine, which allowed for much more detailed levels and perhaps the most advanced physics we've ever seen in a game. The gameplay and the storytelling was just as good, if not better, than the original. People loved it. Now, it wasn't as groundbreaking as the original Half-Life, but it was a technical marvel, one of the best shooters of its time. It sold over 12 million copies and still frequently be, is referenced as one of the best shooters ever. If you're a fan of FPS games and you've never played Half-Life 2, what are you doing? At number four, Halo Combat Evolved. The game that changed console shooters forever. I remember getting my Xbox, booting this up, and just getting lost. Launch title for the OG Xbox. It was, it was, it was everything. It was. It had a great campaign, super addicting multiplayer, and it also changed the way we played shooters with a controller. Plus, of all the campaigns in Halo, I think it's often cited as the best of the best. I mean, it was just, it was, it was so, it was new. I mean, the Master Chief Collection helps. This game aged like a fine wine. It did. At number three. Halo 3. Now, Combat Evolved may have changed console shooters, and Halo 2 may have changed online gaming, but Halo 3 was the game that broke everything down and refused to ever go away even to this day. It dropped 14 years ago, and perhaps the most hyped game of the entire decade. Did it live up to the hype? Absolutely. The campaign was great. It wrapped up the events of the first two games. The multiplayer? Mwah! Expanding upon just about everything laid out by Halo 2. Then, there was even more new additions, new game modes, level editor, more custom game options, a file sharing system. I, it, was, it was a moment... It was just, it was a freaking moment. Hundreds of thousands of people are still playing it to this day through the Master Chief Collection. It's never going to die. And I really, really hope Halo Infinite can be half as good as this one. At number two, 
Doom 1993. Few games shook the industry as much as the original Doom did. Now, released for the PC a long time ago, almost 30 years. It was a first-person shooter like nobody ever seen. It took the framework of Wolfenstein 3D, but it sped it up. It added more depth to both level design and combat. It completely changed the industry. I mean, technical achievements, gameplay innovations, you name it. It blew up in popularity because it was addicting. Heck, people are still playing this game and creating new mods for it. This is the second most influential FPS game ever released, in my opinion. And if you know your gaming history, you already know what's at number one. If you made it this far, thank you. At number one today, the best FPS games of all time, Half-Life. Now, Doom helped establish the FPS genre as we know it. Half-Life helped establish gaming as we know it. Released in 98 for the PC, it took the foundation of games like Doom and Quake, but it added an elaborate story, more grounded levels, and a revolutionary new physics engine. It was not only a fantastic shooter, but it was also a showing of how video games could be used to tell a super compelling story. The gameplay and the level design was a massive influence on the entire industry and its approach to player engagement and storytelling unmatched. And you know the craziest part about it? This game actually aged well. It doesn't look amazing anymore, but the story and the gameplay and the level design, they're still top tier. And if you play it in 2021, you'll instantly notice countless things that other shooters have taken inspiration from. So if you ask me, Half-Life is the single greatest FPS game ever released. What other top 25s would you guys like to see? Thank you so much for all the support and I'll see you soon.